Welcome to the channel Excel is Magical and part 7 of the lookup series from my virtual training sessions. In this video, we are going to learn how to do two-way lookup in Excel by using lookup functions VLOOKUP and MATCH. If you are not aware of VLOOKUP function and directly watching this, I recommend you to please watch the previous parts of the series to have a better understanding of this video. Initially, I will introduce you to one of the wonderful function MATCH and its usage in Excel and then combine this function with VLOOKUP to perform two-way lookup. Now let's see a requirement and use VLOOKUP and MATCH combination function to solve this requirement. There is an employee data sheet. Okay, I'll be showing you two sheets here. We are computing some salary hikes here. Can you see salary? good news for these employees? They're getting salary hikes, right? So now I believe the salary hike depends on two parameters. One is the department of the employee. Okay, the second one is the grade. Based on these two parameters, the salary hike percentage will be calculated. HR has given a table here where what grade, what department gets what percentage. Like the first employee is from accounts, grade C. So accounts C has to get what? 28 percentage. So this has to come here. All right. Similarly, other guys. So what is the challenge here? The challenge is not looking only one side, looking two sides. This we call this challenge as two-way <coughs> lookup. Two-way lookup. Okay, like if you don't know two-way lookup, you may have to write nested if function might be really, really time-consuming work. We, can, we could have said if the grade is A, do a VLOOKUP from second column. If the grade is B, do a VLOOKUP from third column. Do a VLOOKUP from fourth column. You can do that. But imagine these grades are not five. There are some 20 grades or some 20 different, 200 different kind of parameters here, right? So this will be lengthier process if we follow the normal procedures. Is there an easy way out? Yes, there is easy way out, but you have to learn some function from me. I can do this through something called VLOOKUP match here. Let us now, to make things simpler, to understand this concept, we will imagine there is no grade. Okay, there is no. Let us say that there is no. There is no grade here. Okay, let us just hide it, and we'll think that everybody's grade is E. Everybody's grade is E. If everyone's grade is E, that means it has to pull the data from the sixth column data, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to bring it from the sixth column information, right? So what I do, I go here. Equals to VLOOKUP. It's simple. I'm not talking about very advanced things here. I will search for the department, comma, table. Table is this grid. So I take this entire table, right? Because I took a table, I'll make it absolute, very important, comma. Because we considered everybody's grade is E, so I'll just count that number, sixth column. I'll just write six, comma, I'll write zero. That is my exact match. So I close the brackets and I hit enter. We all know that based on the sixth column data, it has got me the information, right? That is pretty simple. But the challenge is not that. The challenge is they have the grades also and this percentage will vary based on the grade. But I have not, I have not taken from these grades now. I've just taken from these grades. So I need to find a mechanism where this should be made automated. This should be made automated to change depending on the grade. If the grade is A, it should be 2. The grade is B, it should be 3. The grade is C, it should be 4, like that. So here, where one of the wonderful lookup function matches health. Guys, for whom this match is very new, look at this. This is actually a function. I'll give you a definition of it. Returns relative position of an item in an array. That is what is the definition of uh, match. Single dimension array. I'll try to explain. Give me two minutes. That means if I ask match, hey match, 
tell me where is b in a to e okay it tells me 1 2 if i ask match where is b from here till here it says 1 okay guys try to zoom look at this if i ask match where is b from here till here it says 3 1 2 3 match is basically a function which returns the position of an item in an array okay like look at this how to write the match look at this if i say m a t c h match look up value what value are you searching i am searching for this okay i am searching for this comma look up array where are you searching i am searching here i am searching here very important you can't give more than one uh, dimension okay if i give more it gives me error it should be only that is why the bracket there i put single dimension match can work in a row or in a column but here i want to search in a row array because i'm searching for a value which is available in a row right so here to here see i can also start from here there's nothing wrong but start from a place from where you wanted match to start counting see if i start counting from here to b it will be two but maybe this might be a wrong input for my VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP B is where 1, 2, 3. So you have to think in that context. So that's the reason why I started from here. Relevant to my VLOOKUP uh, table. So A3 to F3, comma, we have also this exact and approximate matches. Uh, to trouble, we have minus 1 also. Let us see this later. Please ignore that uh, approximate as of now. Let us just take 0. Okay. I take zero. So so simple, guys. One more time. Equals to match, match this value, comma where in this array, comma zero. See when I close the bracket and hit enter. So I got three. If I change this to a, becomes two. If I make it as c, it becomes four. So guys, I have a mechanism now which can help me to get the column number of a search value now if i include this in this place right in this place then it becomes a two-way lookup so the mechanism of getting column number is match so i just erase six here i erase six here and i put match here match match what match this match this e4 comma where so i have to match this in the grid so i'll go to grid sheet and i take this table it didn't get me i'll just i'll just help you out again look at this i'll just help you out again now in this formula we considered everybody's grade is e and we wrote six but actually it is not that now this guy's grade is what c c means it has to get the information from the fourth column. Yeah. C is what? One, two, three, four. Where is B? Third column. Where is A? Second column. That is what we are trying to create a mechanism of. So instead of writing this manually, we are writing match. Got it? I'll just delete the six. I'll delete zero also. So I'll start from match this comma. I go to grid and I take this row okay whatever i did there i'm repeating here okay so now this has to be absolute a3 to f3 because i've taken a single row okay a3 to f3 otherwise it will become a4 f4 like that now comma zero and close the bracket i'll just give you one uh, useful tip here whenever you're writing internal function you can check whether these functions are working properly or not there's a shortcut for it. If you press F9, select the formula and press F9. F9, it tells you what is the current output of this thing. So C grade is in fourth column, right? So it's giving the output of it. We can make sure that the formula is right. If you find it is fine, you can uh, proceed. Or if it gives an error, you can recorrect the formula. Right now, I find it fine. C grade is in fourth column. So my formula is perfectly giving the output. But I got my output here, right? I have to get the formula. How do I get back my formula now? I can press Control Z for it. See, look at this. I pressed F9 to see the output. Control Z to get back. Comma, zero. 
Okay, now I press enter. This is be working wonderfully fine. I'll just show you that. I'll show you one more time. Don't worry. Look at this. This guy is from accounts and C, 28%. Accounts and C, accounts and C is 28%. Next guy is marketing and B, 34%. Marketing and B, 34%. Working perfectly right. Okay, now first thing, uh, let me just show you once more the same stuff. E equals to VLOOKUP I did. I'll combine all the formula together now. We first looked on the department, comma. Then we took the table. Where is my table? Grid sheet. Took this table, correct? This is my normal VLOOKUP and we freezed it. F4, comma. Then we were not knowing the column number. So we use match function. A, B, C, we don't know anything, right? So this is why it's called as two-way lookup. So this is a mechanism to do two-way lookup. Match. I will search for this grade. I have to search for this grade, comma. Where do I match these guys? In the grade row. And I make it absolute, comma, zero. Close the bracket again, comma zero. Why two two zeros? First zero is for the match. Okay, the second zero was for the VLOOKUP. We just learned here match. If you see the match formula which I have posted before, okay. So match also have zero. No, this zero is means for the match for exact match of match. This is exact match of the VLOOKUP. So then close one more bracket. Little complex. Please walk through this video once again. Once you get this training video, please walk through it so that you get a better clarity. And then let me know in the comment below if you find any challenge using this function. And also let me know how did you find this learning today from me. Hoping that you apply this learning in your work area and find this really beneficial. That's it in this video. And in the next video, we will learn one great application of how this combination can be used to fetch multiple column values in one go thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it and if you did give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my youtube channel excel is magical and hit that bell to get notifications whenever i put on new videos see you in my next video